So today we'll be talking about the crucial. So if one of the questions that we're asking is how did the Crusades affect the lives of Christians, Muslims, and Jews, we have to hear hear from some of the individuals and kind of think about what they were experiencing at the time. So our goal is to be able to describe the course of the Crusades and evaluate the effects that they had on Christian Jews and Muslims. First we're going to talk about Christians and the Crusades and specifically on what impact the Crusades had on Christians as a group. So firstly, as the group that's traveling to war, crusaders suffered all the terrible effects of that war. So they were wounded, killed in battle, or died of disease. It's such a long, long journey to get to the Holy Land from Europe um, that just the journey itself could be very treacherous. There were economic changes because of the series of battles that um, Christians went through. This increased the exchange of money, um, and knights actually started to perform banking functions like giving out loans or lending. Monarchs established tax systems um, so that they could tax their citizens to fund these large armies that they were developing. This created a change in society itself, so monarchs grew very powerful because they had the time to develop their armies and they didn't rely on lords as much. Um, whole scale society learned about new foods and other goods, materials like muslin, cotton, um, foods like melons, apricots, sesame seeds, carob beans, and pepper became favorites of people in Europe. And therefore, merchants gained enormous profits taking those goods um, and foods back to Europe from the Middle East also learn about the Christian experience from individuals. So one individual that we can track is Richard the First of England, also known as Richard the Lionheart. Um, he led the Third Crusade, um, and he was a devoted Christian. He was devoted to bringing back the Holy Land for the Christian cause. Um, he also believed in the knightly ideals of courage and honor, and that might be the reason some historians think that he was ruthless and brave in battle, he actually spent most of his reign as king fighting in the Crusades. He also taxed his people heavily to fund these long excursions into the Holy Land, um, these series of battles. Another Christian individual that we can track is actually Anna Komna and she is the daughter of the Byzantine emperor at the time. She wrote her about her experiences in the First Crusade, um, and she expre expressed mixed feelings about the Crusades, and she questioned their true intentions, because a lot of the individuals who, who were going over to fight didn't necessarily show those, quali those knightly qualities um, of courage and honor. Um, and eventually, her prediction came true because crusaders attacked Constantinople, which is the Byzantine capital. Moving on to Muslims and the Crusades and the impact that the Crusades had on them as a group, as a people. Um, many Muslims lost their lives in battle during the conquest of Middle Eastern cities. So Muslims were attacked on many fronts and Crusaders destroyed Muslim property in Jerusalem and other communities throughout the Middle East and through Arabia. Uh, Muslims did gain exposure to new weapons and military ideas and tactics with which eventually made them stronger um, and better defenders against the Crusaders. Uh, they began to adopt standing permanent armies uh, that strengthened them as an empire. Um, it wasn't all negative. Merchants, especially in Syria and Egypt, that weren't as directly affected by the Crusades, earned riches from trade with Europe. Um, this money helped to fund new mosques and religious centers and actually strengthen um, the religion in the region. There was much political change, uh, and during the Ayyubid dynasty founded by Salah al-Din, or Saladin, um, in parts of Syria and Arabia, um, he became this strong leader for the Muslim people.
If we track individual Muslims, we can track, in fact, Salah al-Din or Saladin, as he was known. He was the greatest Muslim re leader during the Crusades and actually helped to unite um, the Muslim people. He grew up in the Second Crusades in Damascus and seeing um, what was happening to his people, um, he sought to unify the groups under a strong leadership and he was successful at it, the most successful at it. Another individual is Usama ibn Mundid. Um, also grew up during the time of the Crusades. Um, he fought against the Crusaders and believed it was the will of the gods to test um, the Muslim people. He wrote valuable accounts from the cru Crusades from a Muslim perspective. Um, and it described how Muslims were willing to give their lives to protect their families, lands, and property from the Crusaders. I will talk about Jews and the Crusades and the impact that it had on them as a people. So Jews suffered enormously at the hands of the Crusaders. Uh, they became targets because they didn't strictly follow Christian teachings, even though they shared some holy texts and holy sites and beliefs. Communities of Jews were murdered, um, as you can see in this painting of the massacre of the Jews at Metz in the First Crusade. Um, their synagogues and holy books were destroyed, their communities destroyed, their homes and businesses were looted. Uh, they face anti-Semitism, which is hostility towards um, their religion and their people. This spread in a number of European cities. And later in the 14th and 15th century, um, Jews faced segregation, so they were placed in communities um, called ghettos that were usually walled off from the rest of the city. We can track individual experiences like Eliezer Ben Nathan. Um, he wrote about the violent destruction of his community by the Christians. Um, he chronicled that intense devotion many Jews had to their faith. Um, many Jews had to die for their faith. Eliezer Ben Judah was another individual that we can track his experiences. He was a Jewish scholar. Uh, living in Germany, and he was actually forced out of his home. He had to flee his home during the Second Crusade. And despite all the suffering that he went through, his family was actually killed by crusaders um, in his home. He became a Jewish leader that promoted love for, humani for humanity.